Hello everyone, this is Kinkun LT. This video, I will show you our the biggest uh, innovation product, the KC86 server. And this is a local server of your home automation system. And uh, many people are waiting for this product. And today, uh, this product have released. And also, I will tell you uh, the hardware, and like the PCB and the hardware design, and uh, how it works later. And then because this board we have integrated the Raspberry Pi 4, uh, that CM4 module, just a computer module, inside of the black box, and also integrate the ESP32. So you can uh, use your code and your configuration uh, for Raspberry Pi and for ESP, uh, very flexible. And you can create logical, and you can create a command, and you can integrate for any third part software because this, it also can uh, call this uh, compute. Uh, you can install the application on the Linux system on the Raspberry Pi or on the Home Assistant. So it's up to you. Uh, so you can create your many functions on this box. Okay, let's look at the hardware details. Okay, let's look at this KC86 server. Uh, this is a black box. This time we also designed it by the metal box. And you can see the back of the box uh, support install on the DIN rail. Uh, this can install on the DIN rail. And uh, let's look at the interface. And uh, you can see uh, this is IS232 and IS485 and uh, analog input. And uh, this is the digital output, 16 channel output. And the uh, 12 watt of power uh, for this system. And this is a four-channel GPIO for ESP32. Later, I will tell you how to uh, design this PCB board. You will understand how to use this interface. And this is ESP32 USB, uh, Type-C USB, and the reset for ESP32. And this is IR, IR send. Uh, you can see uh, the interface. So you can use an uh, extend IR turbo. I can connect with this uh, like this, so it can send the IR signal uh, to air conditioning or to your TV or to your other IR device. You can use a cable, extend this distance and just connect to this terminal. And this is uh, this side of the box and you can see there are many antenna. So later I will tell you what is this antenna. And let's look at uh, this back of interface. And uh, you can see uh, this is the Ethernet, uh, this is Ethernet cable, and uh, for the work mode and the Ethernet setting, uh, this is for Kinkone system. Just uh, the 16 channel input uh, for wall switch, uh, for button, uh, just uh, digital input, and also support long distance. Uh, it's this uh, green terminal from your wall switch, uh, max support one kilometer is no problem. And this is digital input sensor uh, for sensor use. And this is black is ground. And this is IS485. But uh, you, you, may, you may ask, ask me, uh, this is IS485 and this is IS485. Uh, what is different? And this is for Raspberry Pi. Uh, this results for the Raspberry Pi. And uh, this is the IS485 just for King Kong system. And the lid, I will uh, let you see the PCB. And uh, you can see uh, this part, uh, HDMI. Uh, you can connect to your monitor, uh, connect to your TV. Uh, this is for Raspberry Pi system. And this is Type-C, a USB. Uh, this USB also for Raspberry Pi CM4. Uh, for bootload uh, from the USB cable, or you can fresh uh, install Home Assistant on Raspberry Pi uh, eMMC uh, fresh room. And this have four channel USB part. Uh, this USB part uh, you can use by use for your mouse, use for your keyboard, and also you can support uh, use this one uh, USB. I dropped just a USB dongle. Uh, you can plug in, and uh, uh, this is antenna. Uh, you just uh, you just connect with this way, and then uh, the controller will support uh, like this Xiaomi sensor. A Zigbee device uh, like wall switch and lamp and many Zigbee thousands of Zigbee device 
3.1 version will be supported on uh, Home Assistant uh, by this adapt. And this is the Ethernet. This Ethernet cable just for Raspberry Pi. So uh, this is the whole system and uh, many interface uh, for you to use. Okay, now let's look at what is inside of the box. Let's look at what is inside. Okay, now you can see this PCB board. Uh, this is the KC868 server. That is the version is 1.5. That means we already have make uh, 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, and until 1.5 is the sixth board of our using. So many board have feature. And this board is successfully at the last. And you can see uh, what is the board inside. And this is Raspberry Pi and its heat link. And at the bottom of the board heat link is Raspberry Pi CM4. Uh, we can see this board. I have taken another PCB board. I want you to see clearly in front, top layer and the bottom layer. Okay, on this board, uh, this CPU is for Kinkoni system. Uh, so you can use the Keybox Kinkoni smart home application, mobile phone application, and a PC application as before. So this system is for Kinkoni system, our home own software. And this is the Wi-Fi. And this is ESP32. This is ESP32. And this is CM4. That means compute module for Raspberry Pi 4. And you can install any CM4 module with a different configuration on this socket. And this is for the SD card. Uh, if you CM4 module have the EMMC, that's not needed to use the SD card. And this two system uh, you can see uh, almost is three systems. That's this CPU Kinkoni Smart Home system and the CM4 Raspberry Pi and this ESP32. So these all work at the same time. So uh, if this not install the Raspberry Pi, the Kinkoni system also can run in. And uh, the ESP32 also can run in. So uh, the system uh, is management about the digital input, uh, digital input and the uh, digital output, and this is the, this is the analog input. Uh, so all is this CPU is works. But if you use Raspberry Pi, if you, you have installed the, this Raspberry Pi CM4 module on this place, just like this, I have installed this this module on these sections. And now uh, you can use Raspberry Pi CM4 and use this IS485 connect with this IS485. So you can use the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi IS485 connect with this this one uh, to read and write uh, all the results uh, for the output and the input can read by the Raspberry Pi. Because uh, this is for the Raspberry Pi and this IS485 work as the must. And this is a sleeve. So this must, uh, you can connect many IS485 devices, uh, just uh, such as the mode bus protocol. Uh, so you can uh, uh, connect with many sensor, IS485 sensor and a switch and other device uh, for this part. And this can management the whole system. And another way uh, you can see, uh, this is the network. Uh, this one network cable is for this system and this Wi-Fi is also for this Kinkoni system. So, and this cable, network cable, is for the Raspberry Pi. So, just uh, these two cables have connect with the router uh, for your our, uh, for your home, uh, one router. So, you can use this network cable device and connect with, integrate with the Raspberry Pi, that's such as the Home Assistant by MQTT. So, this is the second way you can integrate 
this results and by the network cable uh, to the Raspberry Pi. And the first way is the RS485. Okay, this is uh, the Raspberry Pi and the Kinkoni system always work independently. So if this bed, this system and this application also can run and working. And if, uh, if not install the Raspberry Pi, uh, also it can work independently. Okay, let's look at the ESP32. This ESP32 have management about four channel GPIO. Uh, this is four channel GPIO. So this GPIO you can connect with uh, uh, like this, the temperature sensor and the humidity sensor uh, by this, like this sensor, uh, connect with this way. And also it can support, uh, we can connect with this LD strip uh, WS2812, uh, uh, this LD strip uh, support, you can connect with this part, uh, so it's up to you. So this time, you, this board, you can connect with digital output uh, for relay. You can see this board, I can connect with the E16 channel relay module uh, for uh, this uh, digital output, uh, just for this. And uh, the input is for wall switch, and uh, the input is for sensor. And this is for LD strip, and uh, for the temperature sensor and the humidity sensor. So all just work at the same time uh, from this one part. And you can see uh, this is a module. This is 433 MHz uh, IF receive module. So you can use any remote uh, IF remote to learning the wireless signal and for countering this output. Uh, that support decoded by the ESP32. And this is the IR receiver. This IR receiver, uh, you can learn many TV, air conditioning, and other IR device uh, signal receiver to this for ESP32 and save the signal and send, uh, send by this terminal because uh, you can connect with uh, IR send. So if you have connected with this part, uh, you can learn the signal from this receiver and send the signal from this turbo uh, to your IR device like TV and air conditioning. So this is the board uh, for the ESP32. And this ESP32 have connect with this Kinkoni ARM CPU by the server part. Uh, this is connect with each other directly. So if you can write code by Arduino ID or you can write code by your Taurus, uh, you can read uh, the input state and the country output state and the leader's output state uh, by this CPU. Uh, because we have opened the protocol, uh, you can use this ESP32 to use all resource, uh, like this resource and this resource. Uh, you can get uh, the information from ESP32. So you can do anything, the logical on the ESP32. Okay, this is the hardware interface of the board. And you can see the other side. The other side. Uh, to also have some chip like this is a USB and RS485 and this is for long distance uh, uh, for this digital input and this is a MOSFET output and uh, for every channel because total have 16 channel uh, this 16 channel output that is for the used by the MOSFET output and uh, let's look at the CM4 module. You can see because your board, uh, maybe you have a board like this without CM4 module, but you can install by yourself. Like this, uh, you can uh, prepare a Raspberry Pi CM4 module. Like this. You can see these two modules, all your CM4 module. But you can see this is a black chip. Uh, this without, that means this module have in quote EMMC memory. So this is without EMMC. 
So at this time, you need to use the SD card. Just like this board, uh, you can insert a SD card at this socket. So this module need. And you can see this is a module, that is Wi-Fi. If you have choose the CM4 module, have Wi-Fi module, so you can see uh, this will be a install a part that is for Wi-Fi. If you have choose the CM4 with the Wi-Fi module, you will see uh, this socket, uh, this will be have a socket to install the antenna. Just like this, you will find your CM4 module will have this socket uh, for antenna. So that you can use this uh, dropped antenna dropped. So use this cable uh, connect with this se uh, section. And uh, install this antenna. Uh, you can see there are many holes prepared for you to install your antenna. And uh, any side will have four holes that for you to install the antenna because this board will install on your power distribution box. And uh, we are install the antenna. Uh, this at, at the right side and or at the left side is up to you. So you can choose uh, which side uh, you can install and which side you can install is the best way. So this is for you to install the antenna. Okay, this is the hardware interface of the case 868 server. In future, we will make some video toy uh, based on this server board. Uh, it's very powerful. So we will tell you how to install the home assistant uh, to the Raspberry Pi and how to config and how to use and how to choose uh, uh, part uh, for your functions to use. Okay, thanks for watching.